Street, right here. That's what I was going to tell you, Ron. There's a house that I walked by today, and it had so many squirrels and birds at it, and they were fighting with each other. There were so many of them. Is, do you want one of these? I feel like that's all there is to it. You just hang on. Well, you can climb it. <clears throat> Probably would help to have real shoes on. Maybe. <laughs> well, good morning. We are going to take a quick hike. Um, our first hike since we've been in Texas. Uh, we're pretty happy, excited about it. And we're going, um, I'm not sure where we're going, but it's just going to be like a little, a mile maybe, a mile and a half. I'm not sure, but not very far. Um, so. So if you don't know, we have another channel, our original channel, that's called Wanderlost, which is why we're called the Wanderlost Family. But anyway, so there, each video is just about a different place that like you can go visit if you're a tourist or if you're looking for places to hike in whatever area that you're in, you can look and see if we have any hikes in that area. And so that is very area specific, that channel is. And so um, there's a link to it. Well, it's listed in our channels, but I'll also put a link in the description. Um, there's always a link in the description for it. So if you haven't, been over there or seen that channel then go check it out and you can see this hike once it comes out in it's and it's full the full thing about this hike just this hike but um yeah what else are we doing today after we do this hike we've got to go get well i started the morning with a run around the base um and um, because i don't know where i'm going right now i intended to do six i did about seven and a half uh, just because you didn't know where I was going, but we were going to we're going to try to get our bookshelves sorted out this morning in the living room, get um, those in order, and then uh, the last thing left to do in the house is to start hanging pictures and everything. So I've got to make a Lowe's run and pick up um, the what we need because it's can't be simple. They're plaster concrete walls, so you can't just put a nail in them. So I've got to go get um, anchors uh, so we can start hanging stuff. And we still need some things for the chairs. I mean, for the desks. Oh yeah, we still need the uh, the mats. The mats, and the then floor. I want a um, <laughs> trash can for my uh, office. For my office, but I think that's about it. I hear a train. There are always trains around here, apparently. All right, so Ma all right, so Amanda's already struggling on her first Texas hike. There's too many bugs out here. <laughs> See, Amanda likes nature with no without, bugs. without the nature. I just like the trees <laughs> with no bugs. So we are done at, we went to Lowe's. Lowe's is apparently the closest one to us. So we went to Lowe's and we got some hanging stuff. I didn't video it all in there, but anyway. Now we're going in Office Max, which I absolutely love more than Lowe's. And um, we're going to get the mats that our chairs go on which is, we think, the last thing we need for the house. And I probably need more pins for my new planner, so. No, she doesn't. I think that I probably need another notebook also. Bruh. Look at these cool ones. Look how cute they are. Did you see my stack of notebooks outside that I made? I don't. I, 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 we probably could, uh, rebuild a tree with it <laughs> would be my guess but you can't ever have enough too many notebooks yes yes you can if you don't actually use them i have used at least one page in every one of them <laughs> oh wait planners you uh, uh you just ordered a planner you do not need a planner <laughs> i just wanted to look oh that's simplified planner. more notebooks the Sharpie S gels are on sale. Two dollars off. And their point sevens, their point fives aren't on sale. And these tools are on sale. I mean, that's a really good sale, but I will never use all of those colors. So I'm gonna be smart. 
And I'm gonna get the thing that I think I'll use all the time, the Sharpie S gel. And that's what I'm gonna do. Even though I want all the things. I thought that today might be as good a time as any to go over how I have been doing my daily schedule. Um, it is one o'clock in the afternoon and Ron and I just got back from our hike and going shopping and all that stuff. And um, I'm gonna use one of my new S gels in my new planner and see how this works. And so I thought while I was doing that, that we could talk about my randomized thing. So I'm gonna flip you, well, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm gonna just pull this up on my computer and show you how it works. Okay, my computer is being slow for a second, so I thought we would take just a second and talk about goals right quick. I have decided to start doing my goals on a quarterly basis instead of like a year or, um, or a month. A year is way too long because things happen i.e. coronavirus, and also um, things don't happen <laughs> that you think are going to happen, and things just get completely changed and different than they were before. So my plan is to do them quarterly. And so October, November, and December is the, the fourth quarter of this year. And so beginning October 1st, I have started working on the goals that I'm gonna have starting October 1st. The dog jingles when he moves so it's fine it's just the dog so anyway here is what they look like completed I know that might seem a little bit um, I don't know busy on this page I mean but thankfully this is kind of like my brainstorming page or one of my brainstorming pages I actually usually just take a sheet of paper and I write down everything that I want to do whether it is a daily habit that I wanna do, if it's a one-time thing I wanna do, a monthly, weekly, like it doesn't matter what it is, I just write down everything that I want to do, whether it's, um, and really whether it fits into the quarter or not, I just write it down. And so it's just like completely dumping my brain and, and dreaming about things that, like far out things, it doesn't have to be like, we're not worrying about them being small and simple and easy to accomplish right now. It's just kind of blown up uh, anything. There's no, there's no limit, there's no category, there's no nothing. And then I try to break that down, that list down further and, or, or sort that list and I put it into the uh, length of time. Like maybe these are all the things that can be done one time and then that goal is accomplished or the things that will are ongoing, like something that happens monthly or something that happens weekly or something that happens daily. And so I break those down into that. And then I separate them into categories, like is this about money? Is this about family? Is this about any of my work that I have to do? Is it about writing, which is something that I'm working on doing? Or is it just about me in my life? Like, is it personal? And so, I break it down into those categories and that's kind of what I did here. And then I just I just pick some. Like I, I do not have to accomplish everything on this list in this next quarter. Like if I do, great. If I don't, then it's okay. I'm not, that's not my personality. It can easily just carry over to the next quarter for me. I know that a lot of people are not like that. Like, so just know yourself well enough to know if you need to only write down the goals that you know you can accomplish in the next three months. Um, that's, I don't have that issue. Those are things that I want to be working toward. So as long as I'm making some progress toward them, they don't have to be accomplished for me, but that's how I am. So make sure that you know how you are. And how do you find that out? You set goals. And if you feel really bad because you didn't finish everything in the quarter, then you know that you need to cut back and make sure that you only have things that you can finish in that quarter. 
This is what happens when I try to get work done. Children come in and tickle me. No, it is. Stop. Stop. No, go on. Oh, it's ridiculous. They tickle me because I yell and make weird noises. I hear you coming. Ah, go on. <laughs> and then the dog comes back. Hey, babe, you can't get up here with me. I love you, but you can't. Not right now. Okay, so now that I'm alone again. Um, so that's exactly what I did here. Well, first of all, the last three months are kind of, well, they're in the fall, of course. And so I looked through my washi tape. I don't have a lot, but I like this one. This one is very fall. And then I looked through my, these are just um, Crayola Super Tips, these markers. And so I just looked through there and I found some fall colors. So you totally don't have to do this. This is just what I like to do to make it pretty and make me, if it's pretty, then I want to look at it. So anyway, I picked this um, because the colors on it are fallish colors. And then I picked these four colors because all of my goals fall into four topics. So, and I didn't want it to be too many topics because then I wouldn't remember. I'd be like, wait, what's orange and what's green? Especially if there were too many colors. So I just picked those four colors and I used those, uh, the super tips like highlighters for this. And so it just has the four categories. YouTube, which is really anything that I do that potentially makes money. So some things do and some things don't. And then money, meaning financial stuff. Um, life and writing. Those are the four topics that I have picked to work on for this quarter. And then you can look on here. This is all my list. And you can definitely see that there's a lot more brown than any other color. And so what that says is that we, um, that I'm working on a lot more like working on a lot more personal things in this coming up quarter. And so I even, I made a note down at the bottom where I just said, this quarter seems to be really life heavy. And so like which of these categories do I think we'll be looking at when we go into winter and into 2021 and that kind of thing. And so I will, I mean, they'll change and they'll be different and I'll see what I've accomplished and what I haven't accomplished. And then we'll see what happens on there. So what I did was I took all of these goals. I don't know what your problem is. Okay, first of all, I put the dog up here. If I lean forward in my chair, he can sit behind me for a little while and he'll lay down back there and go to sleep. And until I need to sit back, it's fine. So for what we're doing right now, it's fine. So what I did was I took these, um, these goals all these things that I had written here and I broke them down even smaller and I broke them down into um, I put them on a Trello a Trello page which I will show you on my computer I'm gonna make it big so that we can see this Trello page all together okay now it looks like a lot of stuff and so don't don't be freaking out about it but first of all um, I, I can put these tasks however I want them to be. I mean, put these things. If you don't know about Trello, go watch a video on how to use Trello. I absolutely love it. And I will tell you how. And I will tell you how if you want me to, but it, there are people that probably explain it way better than me. So anyway, this is Trello. And first what I did was I took my list, like I said, and I broke it down and I you can see here at the top, it says one time, monthly, weekly, daily. That's just how it's broken down. And then what I even took for some of these weekly things, because they needed to be done on specific days, is I broke down my wants and needs into days of the week. So you can see how it works. And because this is a weekend, I have this first. And then what I'll do when today is over is I will just move this over to here. And so then tomorrow, well, on Monday, when I'm ready for Monday, it'll be the first thing right here. And you can easily, you just drag everything. Everything is draggable, which is why I love Trello so much. So this is what it looks like for today. And then this daily thing right here starts up here at the top. I, and everything that is orange, you can label, <clears throat> sorry, you can label everything. And here are my labels. Um, so I have yellow means that that's completed. Um, 
orange is a need and purple is a want. What that means is, will somebody else's project fall through? Will a project that people are counting on me to do fall through? Will my children not get educated? Like those things fall under needs. Everything else that doesn't have to be done falls under wants. And I am learning. Are you recording? Yes. Okay. I'm also learning that doing this with everybody in the house and everybody awake, usually I do it earlier in the day and Ron's gone to work and the boys are not awake, but with everybody here and awake, anyway. Okay, so needs and wants, that makes sense, right? Something that needs to get done because someone else is counting on it or it needs to get done because it has to happen, that goes into needs. And then wants is everything else. This uh, blue has become like, even if I only have enough time to do a couple of wants, these are the ones that I want to do. So they're not necessarily needs, but they're the ones that I really want to get done. And then this is first picks and this is meh. So I'll explain that in just a second. So in the mornings when I get up, I go ahead and do this meditate before I even get out of the bed. It's an app that I have. I will link it below it. Um, I haven't found a meditation app that doesn't cost money, but this meditation app, I will link below, like I said, and it's just called Abide. It's Christian meditation. So if you uh, are not a Christian, find something else or listen to it. I mean, it's not bad either way. Um, and then the Reading My Book Club book, I need to do that every day so that I'm on top of it and ready to discuss with my book club. And that is a need. Also, I need to check email and unsubscribe from junk that I get and then respond to all YouTube comments. So those things get done well, these, these three get done as soon as I get to my desk. Sometimes I read my book club book while I'm still laying in bed. It depends, it depends on what I wanna do. And then these happen as soon as I sit down at my desk. Now these things right here, the, this was the no matter what, those actually happen, I don't have to schedule those. <laughs> like I'm gonna drink coffee and while I drink coffee, I'm gonna watch Snapchat news. It's, it's how I get all my sports news and everything. So that's, what's, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't have to schedule that in. And also, I'm going to play in my planner. That doesn't have to be scheduled in either because it's fun and I'm just gonna do it no matter what. Then we have some more. They're at the end of the day because at the end of the day, we read at least five times a week. We've It's more like, yeah, it's five times a week because we take um, Wednesdays and Fridays off from reading, but otherwise we all gather together in the living room. We read, um, a, a chapter from the Bible and discuss it. And then we read whatever book series we're reading and we are on the final Harry Potter book right now. So we're over halfway done with it, but that's what we're doing right now for reading time. And then at the end of the day, I just wanna move all of these videos over to my computer so that when I'm ready to edit, they're all on there and I don't have to go back and say, wait, I didn't move this video, I didn't move this video, you know, whatever. So just a second, we'll talk about what the pink ones are. Okay, so the pink ones are the, are listed as first picks, right? In my label, first picks. And so, like I told you, they can be dragged and changed like this. So here's what I do, and it is the coolest thing. I go on my phone, you know, you hold down, well, if you have an Apple phone, you hold down the button and Siri comes up, and then you can tell her, so let's see how many I have, so there's eight things right there. So I'd say to her, pick a number between one and eight. And then she tells me the number. And if she says like number five, then I take this and I move it up to the top. And then I say, and then I put my mouse here so I remember what my number one is. And then you can move, you can edit her screen where she tells you the next number. So I'm gonna do that right quick.
So there you go. And now I have them all in order of the way she told me to do it. I've never had to do it trying to record one screen and record the other screen. And so it might not have been exactly right. But then what I do is I take my, my day that I'm on in my planner, like right here. And I, this is my daily planner. And I have it broken up into my wants on this side. And usually my needs are on this side because it's a weekend. I just wrote fun. So what I do is I write them down in the order that they randomly came up today. So I'm still doing the same eight things, but I'm doing them in, um, in a random order, which really works with my personality because I mean, I know what I'm gonna be doing, but it's always random. And so it always seems like more fun and more exciting than being like, oh, I have the same routine today again. And so that's not all that I'm randomizing. There are more things, but we have taken enough time today to talk about goals and randomizing things. And so I'm going to go and um, work on some of my daily stuff for today. And I will talk about it some more, I'm sure, in another video upcoming. See you later. All right, so we just got something in the mail. So I literally just hung this up uh, in the house. This is from an Etsy shop called Born on Bond. Um, we'll link it. You can okay. link it. Uh, with with where we've been and so no sooner did I hang it up than the new block came in the mail so it goes left to right so yeah. it was Little Rock then Colorado Springs then Adana Turkey then Fort Meade then Marone de la Frontera and now we're taking the cross off oh, I'm moving it down. and we'll put the new South Dakota so explain what it means so Box Elder South Dakota which is where we lived uh, was part of the 28th bomb wing Ellsworth Air Force Base uh, we got there in August of 2017. We were supposed to leave in July of 2020, but uh, that got scratched out and moved to August. Because of? Coronavirus. I love that they could put a little coronavirus thing on there, so, so the, now we'll always the, know. The two stickers are coronavirus and I made major at uh, South Dakota. Wait, explain the star right quick. Uh, so the star is at the location of... of uh, in the, the state. In the state or on the map. Uh, so you can look at all of these and so wherever the star is so is right there that's how far south down in south in spain we live so that's all of spain and then that's where we were right so you just unhook it it's really easy and they come i mean we got the cross because ron's a chaplain but you can get tons of other options that she yeah. has to go with your things and um and she's Super easy to work with, super efficient. Yeah, I mean, she's been giving us these. I don't know when we originally started. We first got it when we left Fort Meade because we got them for But the you can put, like, right here, um, Wesley. Excuse me, sorry. Wesley was born when we were there. And so you can get the little feet. And then it has the rank that Ron acquired while we were there at the different bases. So it's really cool. And we got... Um, cats so it's really cool there's china's feet prints oh yeah that's right <laughs> at fort me oh. so i think i am officially done at least sorting everything out in this and sorting everything out over here on this this is pretty empty there's a couple of things that have to go and my cart is completely done for now and things are separated and sorted and the workspace is mostly clear and like i'm going to have it there are just a few things that need to be moved around but otherwise i think it's good so um yeah that's it so we've got the grill fired up tonight to start sabbath with these massive steaks demand about no sale. Let's hope they're as good as they look.